Hi and welcome to this tutorial video. My name is Carmen Jorsen and I'm the designer of this crochet heirloom tablecloth that you can find in the Yarn 5 Bookazine by Scapius. In this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to work the flat braid join, which is a technique that is used to join all the motifs together. In this tutorial video I'm going to show you how to create the join in this uh, tablecloth that joins all of the motifs together. As you're working on this tablecloth, you're working in rows, basically. You're joining them in rows of six, uh, and in total you will have eight rows. I'm going to be working on my eighth row now, so I'm going to show you how to join a square on one side only. So you take your square that you've worked up to this point where you join, um, I've worked the final round. I started here. Uh, you start just at, at the end of this side. Then you work one entire side according to the pattern, pattern for where is not to join. And then on the next side, I'm going to join to this existing motif right here. So I'm going to insert my hook back into where I left off. I've already completed the pico, as you see. And from this point on, we're going to be joining this motive to the existing motive. So now the pattern says chain two. So we're going to chain two. Then we're taking the hook out of the loop and we're putting it through the corresponding chain five loop on the existing motive that you want to attach it to. So we're gonna insert it right there. We're gonna put the loop back on the hook, put it tight uh, as you normally would, then pull the loop through the chain five space and chain three. Now you can um, single crochet back into the working motive as you normally would. So we skip four trebles and then uh, we work a double crochet. Now we're going to chain two again. I'm going to lay it flat so you can see. We're going to pull the hook back out of the loop put it through the corresponding chain 5 space right there, put the loop back onto the hook, pull it through, and chain 3. Now we're going to do a double crochet in this gap right here. And you're going to work across this side in the same way. So we're just going to chain two again. Put your loop in the chain five space. Put the loop onto the hook again. And chain three. Now we're going to skip four trebles insert and do a double crochet. Now we've joined um, our motives in all chain five spaces and now I'm going to just work the pico as I normally would. The pico is not joined as you see here. It creates a nice open uh, lace effect which will be even prettier when uh, your project is blocked. So we're just going to work the pico. Um, I work the pico so I have uh, chained five stitches and then I insert my hook into these two loops here. So the first one is the one that's on top of the double crochet and then I'm inserting it into the left leg of the double crochet like this and then I do a slip stitch. So I um, 
do a yarn over and then pull the yarn through all of the loops. And now on this side, I'm not gonna do any joining right now because there's no motive here. So I'm just gonna complete this side as I normally would and then also complete this side until we reach the end right here. There, now, th now this square is done. I'm gonna take my scissors and snip off at about 20 centimeters, or I don't know, maybe 15. Just so you have a little bit of length. I'm gonna pull on this loop, like so. And then what I like to do is to get this uh, yarn end back into uh, the wrong side. So I'm gonna insert my hook from the back, uh, just into this stitch. So I'm gonna insert it so that it comes up there and I'm gonna take this yarn to the back side. And that's um, that's so that it's easier to weave it in later. Now we have attached one more motive onto our tablecloth. Now I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to join a motive on both of these sides. It's basically the same, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So I have another motive here. I've worked it until the same point. So I've started my uh, chain five row here and I've worked this side normally. And then I have these two sides that I can join. I, it's not so easy to join on this side. You could, but then you would have to join this chain space first, then work up until here, and then you can continue the joining. So that's not very um, easy. So I always leave this last side um, just to work normally. So if, if I am joining on two sides, I will be joining on the, um, so the third and fourth side of this uh, square. So I'm taking my yarn, I've worked it in, up until the same point. So after the pico, I'm gonna be chaining two, pulling my hook out of the loop and I'm gonna insert it into this chain space right here. Pulling it through and chaining three. Then I'm gonna do a double crochet into the um, working motive and I'm gonna continue joining the motive to the existing piece like this. Now, when I come to the end of one side that I, that I have joined, I'm just doing the pico as I normally would. So I'm chaining five and I am doing the slip stitch. I'm inserting through these two loops, pulling up a loop and pulling it through all of the loops. And then chaining two already. And then I'm just gonna continue and join on this side. It isn't anything different, it's just that now we have two sides to join our work. So now we have joined two more motives to our tablecloth. I have four more motives here to attach. Um, yeah, so this is how I do the flat braid join. I hope this tutorial video was of help to you and I hope to see you in my other tutorial videos as well. Happy crafting!